Okay, so today we'll be taking a look at something a little bit different, so stay tuned. Today, instead of reviewing a figure, we're actually going to view a, a, a mask. This first kind of, like, you know, mask that I've actually, we actually got another one I'll uh, do a review on here later. It's actually a little bit more Halloween themed, but, um, I decided to do this one first because I'm going to save the other one for later. But, um, as you can see, this is, um, the, uh, Deathstroke mask from the, you know, Arrow series, and, um, now, uh, this is, you know, based on the TV show. It's got the two eye holes instead of just the one, you know, so, um, now this is going to be a little tricky to try to review because, you know, let's say it's taken up a lot of my review station, and, uh, yeah, I got my camera pulled as back as far as it's going to go, and I got that pushed as far back as it's going to go, so. It's going to be a little tricky trying to review this thing, but, you know, let's get started. Alright, now, um, like I said, this mask is based off the, you know, that's right from the Only Island and, you know, the TV show Arrow. And one thing I liked about this mask was it actually has the two eye holes instead of just the one, you know, because, you know, the one eye hole thing is, you know, cool for Deathstroke, but, you know, when, uh, you're somebody who still has two eyes, you know, you, you, you kind of gives you a blind spot in one side. So, now, like, you know, it's Slade Wilson's case, you know, he doesn't have an eye there, so there's no need to have an eye hole there, but, you know, when you're somebody that still has both your eyes, like I said, you know, it creates a bad blind spot. But, as you can see, that's one thing I liked about the Alien Mask was it had the two eye holes. And, um, I got this... From a guy across the pond in the UK. This thing took forever to get here because I had to go through customs and stuff. And, uh, I think he actually, uh, custom made this thing. Because I think he custom makes these. He makes it in all kinds of different colors. He makes it in this black and yellow scheme. He makes like a black and orange one. There's like a crossbones looking one, a de uh, Deadpool looking one. He makes them in, uh, all different, uh, colors and stuff. I chose this one because it looks like the Deathstroke from the show. You know, he's got the yellow half and the black half. As you can see, I'm not sure what I guess exactly color this is molded in. I think it's molded in this black color, and then the yellow was painted on. You got a little bit of yellow overspray on the down the uh, seam there, as you can see. And you see, you got the black around the eyeball right there, which is pretty cool. It's got like a cool texture to it as well. This is made out of latex. The one in the show was made out of like a uh, like foam material. Well, you can get some like that, but them are very expensive. That's why I went with this one right here. And uh, as you see, you got the all black side, which is pretty cool. Like I said, this is kind of on you know, the back there. You got slits so you can get the mask on. Now, I got a Mountain Dew ball holding this up because I don't have a thing to put these on. So, so as you can see, like I said, that's the cool part is the front right there. You can see the black and yellow and uh, and uh, the neck. As you can see, there's a neck on the bottom, which is kind of looks like the show where you know he had the mask tucked into his suit, you know, because there's two different death strokes on the show. There was Billy Wonderbring and so it wasn't they both had one of these. You know, and Slade ended up uh washing the shore on Lee and you and then, you know, Oliver took the arrow and stuff through the one eye hole. Well you can do that with this if you wanted to, but um now since I intend on using this in my videos, I probably won't do that. But um so there's not a whole lot to go over here. Uh, there is like the uh, this wants to kind of fold in, which is the lighter being trying to display this. But you can see, you got the brows and everything where the bone part, the thicker part would be. Uh, so, uh, no further ado, let's get this on and see how it looks. Okay, so, um, now my voice may be a little muffled and stuff, but as you can see, it looks pretty cool when you got it on. And, um, now it is a little big on my head, you know, people's heads are, you know, different sizes and stuff, so, now when I talk in here, it's pretty loud, so, um, that's why I might not, might not be talking as, you know, as I do, you know, off camera and stuff, because, like I said, it's pretty noisy when you got one of these on, and it's, like I said, it's really loud in your ears, but, um, as you can see, it looks pretty cool, and behind me here is my review station, and, um, you can see a little bit of stuff right here that I got, and um, now I didn't show anything else past here because yeah, I've got a a mess with boxes stacked up and stuff all through here. So 
you know, I don't want to show that yet because I got to get all that situated and cleaned up before I do a toy room, like, review. So, um, so you'll probably see me wear this more often when the camera is facing me. So, uh, that's one reason I got this for, you know. And it looks pretty cool, too. So, if you like this video and see more, like, masks and things, you know, like that, too, give me a thumbs up. It helped me a lot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Till next time.